now. Xerox can suck my ass. I hate clearing jams out of their machines. Modernism. Excuse me, what's down here? Death! Haha! <laughs> Yo, no, maybe don't. Oh. This is really weird. I gotta say. At the beginning of the 20th century, an artistic effervescence sparks across Europe. Several innovative t uh, movements revolutionized the way typography is used and re uh, redefined the purpose of letters. Cubist artists like uh, Georges Braque, Pablo Picasso, and Robert Dulini, Dul Dulani, close enough, uh, exposed the world to abstract art by decomposing the topics they represent through geometric shapes. They also introduce typography in their creations and create compositions that include fragments of newspapers, which are pasted on the canvases. The influence of Cubism is felt in all subsequent artistic movements. Around the same time in Italy, poet and author Filippo Tommaso Marinetti, Marinetti Sass, Marinetti Sass, Marinetti, publishes the first futurist manu manifesto, igniting the artistic philosophy futurism, alongside other young avant-garde painters and musicians. These futuristics, uh, futuristic artists reject the past to glorify and celebrate industrial modernity. With a f new fascination for machinery, like cars, new artistic perspectives uh, develop that are concerned with decomposition. In terms of typography, the futurists push away from pre-existing forms. They reject typography's more conventional usage in an effort to liberate limitations on texts, as well as the previous ways in which creations were perceived. Meaning, their creation are not creations are not only intended for reading, but rather designed to have a visual impact on the reader as well, by means of different characters and type sizes. Huh. Okay, I didn't die there, at least. It's down here. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah. No, let me. Continuously raising them. This is irritating me. I want the eye. That, that was not one I should have missed. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, goodness gracious. The use of the theremin here. Shit on their hitboxes, apparently. Data is <laughs> okay. That was a nineteen twenty three artwork. What the hell? The European avant garde art movement stems from the First World War, which broke out in nineteen fourteen. Beginning in Zurich in 1916 via a small group of artists including Romanian poet Tristan Zara and German-French painter Jean Arp. That's such a simple name. Short? Anyway. 
The movement does not share uh, does not share similar fascinations with what the future uh, with that of the futuristic Italians. It is born rather out of negative reaction to the war and makes particular use of mockery and the abs and the absurd to convey social criticism of right wing politics and bourgeois uh, bourgeois or bourgeois uh, society. Okay. From an artistic point of view, Dada is confirmed. Er, char what did I see confirmed? Characterized by a questioning of old conventions and constraints, it is comprised of many texts, leaflets, and posters that use techniques of collage, assemblage, and photo montage, er, photo montage and manufactured objects called ready mades. Uh, increasingly more peaceful times promote the dissemination of the movement, which spreads rapidly throughout Europe. The movement peaks in 1918, particularly with the accession of uh, renowned painter and sculptor Marcel Duchamp. <laughs> the movement slows and starts to divide in 1921, and due to internal conflicts, splits in 1923. Part of the uh, following looks to writer André Breton and his manifesto on surrealism in 1924. Interesting. Just neat looking. Specimen, specimen of the character by for Dermody and Peno. All right. Although a trained painter, Adolf Jean Marie Moron, <laughs> Moron, is is known uh, most for his commercial poster art and graphic design. From 1922 on, he signed his creations with the pseudonym Cassandra. Uh, typography is central to Cassandra's creations, and he includes words with graphic elements as opposed to separating the text from illustration, like most of his contemporaries. He, can, he eventually designs the letters uh, that decorate his posters, while simultaneously paying homage to the sensory fonts without wheelbases. Upon meeting uh, Charles Peño, a silversmith at the time, Cassandra design, uh, designs more characters for the Peño foundry, the Bifer, 1929, Steel, 1935, and a character named after Peño himself, Pe Peño, uh, 1937. Cassandra gradually abandons poster creation to devote himself to painting and the creation of theatrical sets. But his work, but his very particular style, inspired by the work of the Cubist and Futurist Italians, and characterized by geometric shapes to represent its subjects with spectacular use of color, leaves a lasting mark on French graphic design. Cassandre is use, is equally famous for his mastery of the airbrush, invented in the United States at the end of the 19th century. The airbrush is a small compressed air gun about the size of a brush, which allows the user to apply thin layers of color on any media. Using a trigger, the compressed air sprays the medium, dye, or ink onto the desired surface, achieving excellent accuracy, fine lines, and smooth blending. The airbrush becomes increasingly popular during the 1920s. Dude, I want to type with this. This looks sick. This just looks awesome. I love this. What the hell? Leave it to this to... Okay. What? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, we already read it, so, you know. K L M N? Kill me now? This is, uh, this is not the way to you not to you this is not the way to use buy? Oh, buy for, okay. So don't use buy for like that. Okay, gotcha. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gra- Oh no! Oh god! Alright. Ra ra Rexputin! Please don't kill me. Oh, thank God. Um. Ha ha! Very clever. Russian constructivism. In Russia, under the influence of Ukrainian artists Vladimir Tatlin, Tatlin and Russian artist Alexandra Drodchenko, 
The constructivist movement is fueled, by a, dur fueled during a revolutionary period in 1917. This movement, which refuses to reproduce old forms, aspires to create new art based on a machine aesthetic. Supporters of the style develop an industrial, angular style of work that relies on geometric cons geometrical construction of shape and shapes like circles, rectangles, and straight lines. For Tatlin and his ca comrades, uh, art is in the service of the people and must therefore convey communist power. Some constructivists, undoubtedly influenced by Malevich's uh, supremacist, claim the... Okay. All industries and factories must work in the spirit of the industrial shock brigades. Oh. I see. Uh, claim the contrary, the contrary, that art must remain free and independent. In 1921, a divide arises among the majority of productivi productivists and the constructivists with regards to the spiritual aspect of art. Vasily Kandinsky, a Russian painter, subsequently founds abstract art, which reflects these more spiritual and expressionist views. Among other mar uh, artistic mediums, or artistic mediums, uh, the constructivists leave a lasting mark on the poster art. On poster art. The combined use of the color and typography, in addition to the placement and juxtaposition of font, secure the actors of this movement with, as masterpiece, masterpiece makers of modern print. They also stand out due to their geometric compositions, which often align according to a diagonal axis. As a tool of propaganda, their circulation saw as many as 20,000 uh, copies. <clears throat> Two more lessons to go. in my typing game. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I got the letter, though. That's cool. Give me this. The Bauhaus. Introduced in the Dark Wave era of the 1970s, <laughs> The Dassau Bauhaus. The Stadtliche Bauhaus is an institute of crafts and fine arts founded in 1919 in Germany by architect, designer, and urban planner Walter Gropius. <laughs> wow, okay, that's a, that's a last name. Gropius published a Bauhaus manifesto in 1919 in which he states there is no essential difference between the artist and the craftsman. These principles go on to influence a whole generation of artists, architects, and designers, German and otherwise. The school is divided into workshops, run by master craftsmen or artists, or, or, uh, including recognized artists Vasily Kadinsky and pa uh, painter Paul Klee. During the year 1922, Gropius alters the objectives of the Bauhaus to reflect the use of industrial methods, revising Bauhaus ethos to art and technique, a new accord. Swiss architect Hans Meyer becomes the director when Gropius resigns in 1928 and uh, undertakes an education reform. Meyer encourages reduced costs, increased profitability, and emphasizes a scientific approach to the detriment of aesthetic. What the hell, man? That's like... What? Meyer also advocates the 
Accessibility of education, opening the doors of the Bauhaus to additional enrollments. Uh, missing an L. But, I mean, that's reasonable at least. Criticized for his communist convictions. Oh, Myers <laughs> replaced by fellow architect uh, Mies van der Rohe, and uh, who endeavors to depoliticize the school. Nice. In 1933, the school nevertheless closes permanently with the onset of Nazi power, but the Bauhaus Institute remains a major movement of the 20th century. Oh, Jesus. Let me see. Oh, God! I didn't realize it before, before I... Uh oh. Gotta be shitting me. <laughs> no, 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 let's not try that yet. Hold on. This is safe. There we go. One last lesson, let's go. Yeah, fuck off. Okay. Futura. That's so boring. The Bauhaus movement uh, uh, arouses the interest of a new generation of typographers. German typographer and carver Jan Ch uh, Chicholt uh, uh, discovers the Bauhaus in 1923 and takes to it immediately, adopting the principle that form must follow function. He becomes a pioneer of new typography. Chicholt uh, publishes Elementary Typography in 1925 and becomes the official typographer of the Bauhaus. Refusing fancy or unnecessary elements, Chichold favors the sans serif typefaces and advocates asymmetrical layout, asymmetric layouts, which are more aesthetically attractive and stand out from the advertising posters at the time. In 1827, German writer and designer Paul Renner, who is, that is a very familiar name, who is closely tied to Bauhaus, creates the font Futura. Uh, although in, uh, initially trained in the architecture of paint, he wishes to apply modernist principles to typefaces, which explains his rounded and minimalist font design. For avant-garde typographers, the goal is to create <clears throat> characters free of national con connotations. Fortuna is developed on behalf of the Bauer foundry, and the design is based on geometric shapes without the wheelbases, which is seen as unnecessary ornamentation. Other characters abiding by the same philosophy surface in Germany under the influence of the Bauhaus, like Erbar and Bauhaus, drawn by Herbert uh, Bayer in 1928. Above all, modern types are recognized for their simplicity and readability. Now then. Hey. 
Got him. Didn't get the ampersand. I don't even remember where the hell it was. Weird. 